Dave, it looks like you got a new toy. Yep, got a new toy for the, for the Freedom Hauler. What's going on? I uh, just noticed that uh, the steering stabilizer on the Freedom Hauler was starting to show oil leaking out of it right here, right around here. So I got a new stabilizer for it. Amazon? Amazon. About 24 bucks. We're Dave and Karen from Wax on Wheels, and we sold our sticks and bricks to RV full-time now that we are retired. We travel with our heavy-duty truck Leroy, our two Canon motorcycles, our DRV Dixie, and our smart car Zippy. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell to be notified when we post a new video. Okay, now you're going to swap it out? Yep, yeah, and it also comes, well, comes with that and a new bolt, nut, and bushing. What, what does the steering stabilizer do? Look, I thought it was like a shock absorber at first. It is. Basically, it's but, just a shock absorber. But it's called a steering stabilizer. What does it do? Keeps the wheels from vibrating down the road like that. Oh. Dampens okay. the... Keeps them straight. So this is not associated with the tire alignment that you did earlier? No. Not, not. It's just a wearable part. But you did the tire alignment because you saw you were getting wear and tear on one tire, not the other. Has that uh, been fixed? Yeah, that problem's been solved. Okay, because that was quite some time ago that you did that. Mm, a couple months ago, yeah. yeah. Okay, well, let's go do this. This is just a, a wearable part that I suppose you have to replace after a while. It happens. I didn't want to replace it this soon, but... Well, how long have you had it? Well, I've had that tote for what two years? Yeah, that's about right. Yeah, about right. Yeah, two years. Okay, well, let's go do it. All right. Now, coffee now, beer later. Oh, who says that's coffee? <laughs> Dave, you still loving your Freedom Hauler? Loving it. Zippy likes it too. Uh, Zippy likes it too, I guess. She hasn't complained. As the proctologist says, it's that time. You funny. Oh, we're going in. <laughs> oh, I need tools. Definitely got to carry all kinds of tools with you in your RVing. Oh, yeah. I would say Are you guessing a size or what? I looked at it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> earlier. Uh huh. I'd say it's three quarter. Three quarter? Now you're going in. Now I'm going in. There we go. So what's going on? It's taking off this bolt. Uh-huh. And this one too. It only has one of these, right? Yep. There we go. How'd you happen to notice that it was leaking a little bit? There was oil. I'll show you when I get it out. Okay. You just happen to look at it or what? I just happen to walk by and see it. Yeah. Would well, you see it on the ground or on the on the on the cylinder itself here? Uh, you took a little peek. Every now and then I walk by and look at the tires and all that, make sure everything's running okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, you can see where the oil on it is starting to seek out the end. And look at that. Look how easy that is to pull. That's because the oil's been Yeah, the seals, out. seals are wearing out. You're not supposed to be able to pull it that easily, huh? Well, you try it. You tell me. <laughs> well, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I wouldn't know what it's supposed to be and like I... to begin with. Oh. oh. Huh. Here, I'll pull it out. All right, now you take this and just push it down. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now, push that one down. 
Oh, yeah. A lot easier, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Starting to wear out. It caused the wheels to do this down the road. Mm -hmm. We don't want that. So we're back in. Yeah, that one fits better. What you think about using one? the old one? Yeah, I was gonna. But the old one didn't want to seem to go through that hole. Oh, there it goes. So you like using, you use a new one or the old one? I use the old one. Keep the new one around for just in case. Nothing wrong with the old one. Nope. <clears throat> <laughs> Where's the bushing go? What bushing? Uh, they give you that for some reason, just in case your setup's a little different. Oh, you don't need it though, huh? No. Don't need any washers or anything, just putting the old parts back on. Yeah. Well, that's a quick job, huh? Yeah. It's not even a require a beer, is it? You get your I lemonade. doubt it, but get, uh, yeah, it's going to need at least one. Let's get you a lemonade. A lemonade. You'll take a beer, huh? Uh, I'll take a beer. You thirsty? I need a beer. <laughs> what else um, do you do for maintenance on this thing? What, what do you look? Bolt? What do you look for? I uh, look for wear and tear on the tires. Check all the bolts on the hitch. Make sure they're tight. Check the lights. Compressor. Make sure it's all running right. You've been doing some work on your freedom hauler. Yes, I have. What you been doing? Well, before I had that uh, traction tape, you know, rough gritty tape on here. So when we drove the car up, the tires had something to grip to because this is just the deck is really slick, especially if it's a little wet. No telling which way the car is going to go when it goes up there. So. The tape seemed to tear up and let loose all the time and kept replacing and replacing, got tired of it. So now I've uh, took black enamel paint and mixed it with sand. Just regular, everyday? Rust-Oleum black enamel. Buy it in a, no, the sand, buy it in a bag, Home Depot yeah, kind of stuff? Buy it, yeah, just some play sand. Mm -hmm. Mixed it up in there and first, first though, I when I tore off all the tape, just mix the paint up with a handful of sand or until it got semi thick with sand. That's why you asked me for the coffee can, isn't That's it? That's right. And, uh, but, but before I painted it, I put uh, TSP on it, trisodium phosphate. And that dulls the finish on the paint. So the new paint had something to grip to. You just did that only where you were putting the sandy paint down? Yeah, only where I was putting the sandy paint down. That's why I see some of the white left over down there. That's from the trisodium phosphate. Oh. And uh, so after I mixed the paint up, I had a little roller and I taped it off. And then I just rolled it out and let it dry for a few days. And well, it's grippy. So what you got going on now? Well, I'm gonna paint 
a white stripe on there with rust oleum so when I pull the car up my spotter which mm. is Karen can tell me which way to turn the wheel to make sure the tires are following that line they'll end up in the chocks the wheel chocks so that's just paint tape yeah that's just masking tape on there so yeah get half way decent looking line mm -hmm. and that's it go for it yep what I want to do is just dab it on what like, is that because if I start stroking it like that the, yeah. it'll bleed underneath the tape oh because it's bumpy yep yeah okay it might take one or two coats to get it, but... So you got your two coats on here. Are you going to take the tape off right away then? Yeah. Yeah, I learned that a long time ago. Don't let the tape sit there and dry with the paint. You'll never get it off. Looks like you're about finished up there, Dave. Yeah, just finishing up. So you got all the chalks back on, got the D-rings, got your stripes, got your sandy material on there for the tires. Yep. All ready to go. She's ready. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you in the comments below, even if it's just to say hi. Don't forget to subscribe.